The London 2012 Olympics could prove to be a milestone for the sport, with women's boxing debuting at the Games. Amateur boxers like Stephanie Louis Ferdinand are in the London squad for the 2012 team. She has one more qualifying round to go through before she finds out if she has made the final cut. As the world's kind of growing, I think that would be really important to see on TV, you know, women boxing. If I'm lucky, it might even be me, you never know. <laughs> Some say the standard of women's boxing is improving and that women are slowly being accepted into the male-dominated sport. I was quite sceptical at first of what female boxing would be, at, be like, but I must say I've, I'm certainly a convert to, to it now because they, I've seen some excellent, excellent contests. There were 50 registered women's boxers in 2005. Now the number has risen to 600, showing a 700% increase and that women's boxing has become a real knockout. Amateur boxing clubs might increasingly be welcoming to women, but the professional side has thrown up a few obstacles. Marianne Marston is a professional boxer and trainer. She reached her professional status three years ago. Uh, professional boxers, the British Board of Boxing Control is quite anti-female boxing. They're quite um, sexist in their attitudes and it's particularly hard for women to get licenses. Um, in 10 years they've only issued, I think, at most 16. And while some owners have opened their gyms to women, not all are convinced women are cut out for the brutality of the sport. There's a lot of girl, girls I've trained in the past that really petite, quite good looking, you know, got their nails, nails done. Um, for for a, an everyday girl to get into the ring, no way, no way, they'll get hurt. And perhaps those perceptions will one day be changed with the sport making its first appearance at the 2012 Olympic Games and giving boxers like Stephanie a fighting chance to succeed in the sport she loves. Tanika Smith, City International, London.